Hello, everybody, and welcome back for more Let's Play Knights of the Dreams. I'm Hunter, the one who's there for Anna Polar Bear. And in the last part, we did Elliot Edwards' first stage, which was Splash Garden. And in this part, we're going to be doing his second level, which is Frozen Bell. Except that of the consciousness. Um, so, yeah, last part I said I was going to mention the idiot. Uh, yeah, you, you do see only, like, four float around, uh... Elliot here, but there's actually five, and that's the one you don't see. Um, let's go over them, shall we? There is five idiot. No, I just said that. Uh, the red one is the idiot of courage, and is the only one that the nightmares cannot steal. That's why you don't see them stealing. That's that's. Them. By the way, all these um definitions come from Night's Journey of Dreams. That's where it's all defined. The white idiot is the idiot of purity. Representing the purity within one's heart. Yes. Uh, the blue idea is the idea of intelligence, represented the human's intelligence. The green idea, idea is the idea of growth, represents growth and wisdom. And the yellow idea is the idea of hope. It represents, well not shit, hope. It also allows the dreamer to keep their memories after leaving the ninth dimension. Yeah, yeah, I, I know this. It's kind of pointless, but I thought I'd let you know. Anyway, welcome to Frozen Bell. This level has... Probably the most, well, nah, I wouldn't say the most grindable first section, but has one of the, uh, you could get a pretty high link chain in this first section of the level, mostly because if you go fast enough and, uh, you use that, uh, that, uh, well, I don't know what to call that exactly, like a, small, like a bonus ball thing that allows you, if you go through, um, yeah, you see that number that you basically have to collect that number of, that number of links before uh, your link combo just disappears, and if you do that, you get some bonus points. Basically, it involves you going fast. As you can tell, I'm getting a pretty high link combo just by uh, doing that. Of course, it's not easy to keep it up since sometimes the orbs take a while to get to you, and that kind of burns the combo, which sucks. But for the most part, you can keep it pretty high, and in fact, based on just by this one section alone, you can pretty much get enough score to A rank the, the level easily, which is quite remarkable, honestly. It also shows how easy this game really is when you uh, basically abuse everything it has to offer. Would it be safe to say that Knights in the Dreams is basically Sega's Kirby? I would say that if it was easy to find. Well, now it's easier to find with the uh, re-release versions on uh, PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, and Steam. Oh man, plugging! Isn't it wonderful? Anyway, yeah, so, um, the reason why you want to get a lot of points in that first section is because this section, most of the other sections of this level, kind of hard to get points in. Because, yeah, they got a bit of weird gimmicks with the paralooping and swinging on things. It's odd. Also, I keep barely getting enough points to pass through these sections. Ooh, para para power loop, trick loop, stunt loop, whatever they're called. I think they're called, I, I, I call them trick loops because they're good tricks when you go through them. So that's what they're called forever. Though they're probably not called that and I'm just calling them wrong. It's very likely that's the case. Research, what is that? Um, yeah. Damn, so close. Yeah, uh, you gotta make sure that if you don't want to frustrate yourself in a weird way, uh, try to get, a uh, 20 orbs before hitting that thing, otherwise you'll be angry at yourself for no reason other than the fact that you didn't get perfect right away. It's a psychological thing, I know. It's, it's weird. Um, but, uh, yeah. Basically that. Now, bonus time, again. You know? For some reason, whenever I see this level, I think of... I, not, not really Christmas, but there's like this movie. I don't really know what it is, but there's... It's, it's hard to explain. I'm thinking of a movie whenever I see this movie. Not like I... I feel like it's a movie that I've seen, but I don't remember what it even was. Like, if it even existed. Kind of like how for the longest time I remember seeing this like Alice in Wonderland type show, and later I found out that there actually was this type of show. It's called Adventures in Wonderland. It's like, oh, that was a thing in existence. It's right. Yeah, that kind of thing. Like I remember seeing a kid movie as a kid about a pink elephant that goes on an adventure and he goes inside a whale that had a house made inside of him. I said, what was the name of that film? Oh yes, Mumphy. I'm pretty sure nobody knows what the hell I'm talking about. It's very likely that is the case. 
Ah, well, such is the facts of life. Oh, hey, look, I got a thing. Don't know what it does. I honestly don't. Probably gonna look at that up between parts, and then I'm gonna splurge about it in the next part, because I don't know. Also, I don't know what the point of this Nightopian guy is. Yeah. I don't know what his deal is. What is, what is he doing here? What is his purpose in life? He's just like, this is how many stories you collected in the level. Eh. And if you touch me, I drop the sign. What does it do, huh? I think it gives you points, but I'm not really sure, because I kind of didn't really look at my score for I actually might now that I'm, I have the time to look at it, because I'm not actually playing the game. Post commentary, got found that fact in everybody's head because it's not annoying if you done it for the slightest. Terrible sarcasm, right? But sarcasm nonetheless. Why am I going into weird voices? I don't know. I'm just uh doing things. Yes. I completely missed all those bonuses. Pretty good at video games, don't you know that? Uh but yeah. I don't think I meant to go through the gate like that early. I just like, uh, uh, go through the gate now. Yeah. And uh, I still have to get. Oh, whoa. Oh yeah, we did get through the gate, and now we're in this section where uh, Knight suddenly turns to a bobsled, and uh, we see Elliot riding it. Yep, that's how that works. You ever have a dream where you dreamt that you were riding a jester that was a bobsled? No? You need to dream better. Yeah. You see, so like, okay, I dropped the sign. What's that do? I wasn't paying attention to my score. I, I'm silly. Alright, yeah. So that happens. I should probably prepare myself to figure out what the hell the next boss is called. Wait, I do know what it's called. I have it right here. It's a pretty dumb name, let me tell you what. I'll land the most ridiculous name you might even hear. You might have heard in your life. But yeah. So I guess it's time to tackle Frozen Bell's boss. After we get a score B, but don't worry. Usually if your total points go up to above uh, 120,000, then you should be good. Anyway, boss for Frozen Bell, Claws. Because he's a hat. Get it? Ah, never mind. Anyway, so what the tactic to be in claws is that... Is it a... Is it a... Is it a... Is it a... Is it a she? It's a he. Anyway, so yeah, the tactic to be in claws here is that he's gonna jump from each of these rubber mice things. And, um... Well, when he lights one up, that one will stay lit up, even if he jumps onto another one and jumps from that one. And then you gotta destroy the lit up one of it. Let him fly. You have to dash into it, otherwise you take damage and lose time. I'm pretty sure anyway. But yeah, after you dash into one of those things, it explodes, and then he won't be able to stand on it anymore. Basically, you have to eliminate his platform. So once you do that, you can get him on one and uh, basically kick him in the head and kill him. Eh, it's basically uh, more of a rushing thing than anything else. Pretty sure there's an actual tactic to beat him because the max amount of. Uh, the max time multiplier you can get when you beat a boss is two. That means you did it super good and perfectly. So, with that being said, there's probably an actual tactic to beating him instead of just destroying all the mice like that, but... You know what? There is, and I wouldn't mind if somebody corrected me on it, because I would like to know. There is one. Anyway, so that's it for Frozen Bell. This game's pretty short, if you can't tell. Anyway... Next time on Let's Play Nights in the Dreams, we're going to be doing Elliot's Third Stage, which is Stick Canyon. So until then, see you later, and goodbye.